back on relationship advice reddit here and we got one that <laughs> it took a turn at the end that i did not see coming but i read the first like paragraph and i was like all right i want to i want to talk about this one here and uh, i guess we'll get to it today i a 21 year old male wrote my girlfriend a 20 year old female he just says right here, obviously the M for my girlfriend should be an F, um, a love letter where I kind of poured all my love into it and now I actually feel empty. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you guys think about men writing women love letters uh, these days? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about if you were um, in you know, one of the early world wars and that was how you would stay in contact with a woman contact with a woman i'm talking about these days uh what do you guys think about that let me know in the comments okay first off the letter was written because we live in a long distance relationship and see each other maybe every second weekend all right well first off to you don't do that guys long distance relationships are that do not do it okay do focus on your own life yourself do not long distance relationship is like you are you have all the requirements of being the emotional tampons the tampon in none of the perks for most of the time in the relationship none of the physical perks there's just so many other reasons just don't just guys just trust me on this one don't try our long distance relationship the last days weren't easy because i got jealous over nothing and only realized later on she never responded badly and always responded kindly and good-hearted in the letter i wrote down why i love her how much i love her that I treasure her support a lot and would gladly return it whenever needed. Again, another example of where men are the romantics. All right, well, we talk about this, and in, in just in texting, principle three, poker player texting, one of the things about that is like not revealing your hand too soon. Not revealing your hand, not revealing more of your hand to women then they reveal to you it's okay if we just try to think basic about this um if you're thinking about telling a girl you like her telling her your feelings women already know that you like her they can already tell by the way you're acting and all that that you don't have you saying the words is only confirmation of what she already knew and that you saying those words will not actually score you points like we think that they will saying those words we think is like the big reward like oh have you told her you love her yet tell her you care about her tell her you miss her that's what we're always told and it's totally opposite it's another thing where it's it's the 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 truth it's like a, it's like opposite day so um when you tell her you love her and you open up your feelings like that again what that does is it tells you it tells her exactly where you stand and then whenever a woman knows where you stand and she knows that she has you then she's her hypergamy it's just in a woman it's just in her so if this happens if she knows where you stand and you tell her how much you love her and all that stuff and you spill your feelings you become too easy and you're like a toy that a cat got and figured out when a cat gets a toy if you've ever given like a cat a toy it will play with that toy for unless it's a laser pointer <laughs> they love those but if you give it a toy it will play with it for maybe maybe a day probably not even that long and then it will never play with it again because it's bored it already figured it out if it's just a, a toy if you tell a girl where you stand she's bored she already figured it out and then she'll move on to a new toy so right there guys don't confess your love don't confess your feelings it won't get you anywhere all the love stories tell you they're wrong <laughs> they are wrong i also told her that i value every minute with her highly and i'm looking forward to every following one 
It is the first time I ever wrote a letter of this kind, and she is also my first girlfriend. She's probably your last girlfriend after this. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm trying not to make fun of the guy, but... Um, just don't do it, man. And I guess, you know what? I can't fault him for it. We, we are grown up shown that this is like the key to a woman's heart. Write her love letters. Sing her a song. Wait outside her window with a Mariucci band playing a song and, and begging for forgiveness. All that crap. Guys, don't do it. Those movies are wrong. <laughs> They're wrong. Chad and Tyrone would never do that. I felt great after writing this letter, yet a few hours later, I suddenly had a really strange thought, basically regarding my sexuality, but not really. <laughs> what? What? Basically a teeny tiny voice in the back of my head asking if I am sure I'm straight. This, this voice did not stop there, however, and started questioning if I actually love her to which I suddenly could not respond anymore, as if I had poured all my actual love into the letter. I don't know what's going on, guys. Here's, here's what I'm going to say, though. This advice about the love letter from before, don't ever do it. Don't confess your love and all that. My feeling now might be that this guy was like trying to justify his love so he tried to like convince himself that he loved her i don't know man i don't know what this like i said this story took a turn for the i didn't see this one coming uh, when i first started reading this um i could not bring it over my heart to tell her tonight on the phone because how am i supposed to tell the woman i think thought i would love till the end of days that I am reconsidering my sexuality. The thing is, I think I most got most worried about this voice because that would basically mean I lose her and that hit me the most. I'm at wit's end about this. Could somebody tell me what is happening to me? Here's my advice to this guy, <laughs> question mark. <laughs> uh, man, here's my advice for you because this is odd this is just odd um my advice is stay away from dating altogether and i don't know reflect on your own thoughts for a while get don't tangle your with another girl another guy don't tangle don't dabble your heart in anything right now you got some soul searching to do my brother i don't know um like i said guys this one took me for a loop and I thought, well, I guess I'll just finish with this because I'm kind of curious what you guys are going to say about this. What does this mean? And I, I, I often wonder too. Um, and I, I don't know. And, and this is th maybe this is what we can chat about because I'm curious about this. And whether you're straight or if you're gay, I'm very curious about this. Is I always wonder because I only know from my own point of view. I, how can I tell what anyone else thinks or feels or whatever? But I wonder how much people are gay versus straight. How much is that of nature versus nurture? You guys know what I'm saying? How how many people, and, and I have a cousin that's gay. I have, you know, two aunts that are gay. Um, so... You know, that doesn't weird me out, but I'm just curious how much, like these days, it seems like there are a lot more gay people, and some people say that's because it's more acceptable to be gay. But I don't, that would lead us to believe that there's always been as many gay people, but they were just undercover or not expressing it. Or is it possible that there are a lot of people that are just, these days, and again, there I'm sure there's still people, some people, I mean, I, I guess I'm not sure. I don't know whether people are born gay or not, whatever. I just don't know. I, I have no judgment towards that. But I'm curious if, okay, what if, let's just say that you're a young boy, you know, or a girl, I guess it could be the same thing. But if you're, if you're a young boy, I could see this even more. If you're growing up 
taught by mostly female teachers and now you're all your media you know is talking about the whole like you know the patriarchy and all that crap feminism's all empowering women how great it is to be a woman and uh, you know Gillette's talking about toxic masculinity and how bad men are and all that crap I'm wondering if especially now and guys this is part of the reason why I don't think I could go back and teach public school anymore like I used to is because I simply would not teach the gender unicorn that is something I still have a lot of friends that still teach elementary school like I used to and that's something that they're they're trying to get is part of the curriculum is for teachers to teach kids about the gender unicorn which is basically um, teaching kids that oh there's different ways you can maybe you were born a male or born a female but what do you feel like you are what do you feel like inside what's your gender unicorn telling you you are do you feel like more like a girl or more like a boy all this craziness right and that messes with young minds so I'm wondering with a, someone like this who just seems totally confused based on like um, medication people are taking these days, based on what is being pushed in society, based on people telling little kids that they are, oh yeah, you can be anything you want. You can identify as a, a boy or a girl or or, or, a mag- or the, you guys seen the, like the high school athletes that are like the men that are, are, are trans now and they're winning state titles and running or wrestling or rugby, all this crazy stuff, right? What do you guys think? Is that a, is that type of nurture, not nature, right? Nurture, faking a lot of people out to where they just don't know anymore. It's like literally blurring the lines versus or some people would say that, oh, there's always been this many gay people. It's just more, it's more acceptable today in society. That's why we see more people that are openly gay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely leaning towards there is a lot of nurture going on that's affecting um, this type of stuff. But I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because again, this this one this article took a turn for the, <laughs> but it just took a different turn than I was expecting. But now that we're here, I want to know what you guys are thinking because I don't get to talk about this stuff with many people. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.